All right, here's uh, my next boiler. Might be my last one for a while. I'm out of materials. I'll be ordering some in March. April, I'll be making another one probably. This is a boiler that's built for three to five horsepower steam engine, maybe even six horsepower. It has uh, 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled into it. The boiler shell itself is 32 inch diameter, or 32 inches tall, 20 inch diameter, 3 eighths pipe. Really strong. And the base is uh, 24 square. Comes with a really nice whistle that you might want to turn down your volume. This whistle is out of my personal collection that I just haven't been able to find any for sale on any of the websites, Web, eBay or anything. Uh, turn down your volume a little bit. It's a three and a half inch diameter. Really big. So like I said, it's out of my personal collection. It's a seven or eight hundred dollar whistle in the condition that it's in. It's in perfect condition. Really nice gauge on it. Blowers right here. Brings a lot of air into the firebox down below. Water sight glass there. Firecox. Nice uh, firebox here. I'll turn on that blower again. You'll see the difference in the flame. It really brings a lot of air into the base. I, when I put new wood in, I, if I have steam up, I run that. This uh, pop-off valve is at 100. It hasn't gone off yet, but it will. Testing it with this valve. So if it works good, I'll remove this valve. I just use that as a way of shutting it off and uh, putting another valve on if I have one. Uh, water fill and drain is right here. And you can blow down the boiler right there if you so desire. And you can clip a hose on here and fill it. First thing you ever do to a boiler is always fill the water. And I have a really nice uh, water pump on it, it's AC. Has a bleeder valve right here, and uh, then a, of course a uh, check valve right there. Everything goes into the boiler, stays in the boiler. And I'll turn it on. I always keep this cord away from the boiler firebox. Got a little bucket of water here, and this is the on-off switch for the pump. You can just barely hear it running. If there's air in the system, just use the bleeder valve. Now everything going into it is going into the boiler, right down into the boiler. I don't want to put too much water in it right now because that will kill the steam. Uh, engine out is right here. This is half inch. Top of the stack is about 82 inches. When it's sitting on the cement, it's on a, a rolling cart right now. Handle doesn't get hot. Ash pen's right here. It is hot, so I can't really pull it in and out. It rolls or slides in and out. That's about it. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to get time to build another one or materials. The pipe and the copper and the, all the steel plates and everything for all the parts have really gotten expensive. I'm going to look around for some better pricing. My number is 206-948-0770. Want to call me? 
and it's a uh, email address is anacordasteam at gmail.com that's a-n-a-c-o-r-t-e-s s-t-e-a-m at gmail.com thanks for watching and it will be for sale on ebay I just use the search words uh, steam off grid to find it on ebay <laughs>